25 people in this room and only one of them is making money. And it's not any of the band members. Local indie folk band Broomsticks and Hammers paid $300 to record their new song. In order to pay for this new record, Broomsticks and Hammers have to find a way to make money doing what they love, even if that means playing free shows for more exposure. So we've done a lot of playing for free in order to get the few shows that have paid reasonably well. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just for local indie guys, you know. Mm -hmm. But free shows don't pay the bills. And even when musicians do get paid, it's not nearly enough. I would say about a thousand dollars a show and you figure that's split between seven guys the band's goal this summer is to promote their album without having to pay for it out of their own pocket to allow me to travel canada on somebody else's dime <laughs> <laughs> so the question is is it possible to make a living being a musician a percentage of people in the the realm of musicians that can actually just sit back and do nothing but music comfortably or successfully beyond comfortably it's pretty tiny you know like it, it, i would think it would be the top 0.025 percent of, of all musicians out there and you know everybody aspires to have that dream but it's not really a realistic goal that's why recording engineer simon la rochette went from playing music to recording music Simon runs the Sugar Shack Recording Studio and has been making a living recording small-time bands across southern Ontario. I would say I don't make my living off of music, but I make my living off of musicians. While Simon isn't the richest man in the world, he has found a way to make ends meet. I definitely make a comfortable living, but I have debt, you know, but that's pretty normal for something for what I do because you're just like putting in money and putting in money and putting money. As a former musician, he believes that it is possible to make a living playing music, but with some sacrifice. You can make a living in music, but you're probably going to have to adapt your life pretty heavily to that. And so it's like finding jobs that allow you the time off you need, finding jobs that pay you enough, flexibility. So the answer to the question of whether or not people can make a living in the music industry all depends on if they can keep the beat going. Stephanie Valella, Fanshaw Learns.